Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode 6 of what's on my shelf or shelf talk that's what we call it right shelf talk anywho today I'm gonna be talking about the shelf that is directly behind me I have moved filming spots I am in front of the shelf that was one of my original spots for my old videos if you guys remember crazy I know uh, but this one has become part one of my biblical fiction shelf so this shelf is dedicated to Jenna Van Maurik and I am might lose her friendship after this video when she realizes how much biblical fiction I haven't read. I'm sorry. Okay, without further ado, here's my shelf. The first book I have on the shelf is Love Amid the Ashes by Misu Andrews and I have read this one. Next I have Love Sacred Song by Misu Andrews and I have not read this one. Next I have Love in a Broken Vessel and I have not read this one. I have In the Shadow of Jezebel, and I have not read this one. I have The Pharaoh's Daughter by Macy Andrews, and I have not read this one. This is book one, two series, a duology, but I don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, Jenna. Next, I have Miriam, and this is book two in that duology that I don't remember the name of. And I have not read this one. Next, I have Isaiah's Daughter, which is book one in the Prophets and King series. I have not read this one yet. Next, I have Isaiah's Legacy, which is technically book three in the Prophets and King series, but I consider it book two because it goes with Isaiah's Daughter. I have read this one. It's very good. I have A Fire and Lions, which is technically, according to how they published it, the second book in that series. Um... But I consider it its own standalone in my mind, so I have it after Isaiah's Legacy, even though it was published before. But I can't break up series, and to me, this is not a part of that series. Um, but I have read this one, and I loved it. One of my favorite books ever. Next, I have By the Waters of Babylon by Misu Andrews, which is one of the first books in the psalm series. Next I have The Hunter in the Valley of Death by Brennan S. McPherson and this is the next installment in the psalm series. Next I have Deep Calling Deep by Carol Taris and this is the third book in the psalm series. Next I have Counting with the Stars by Connie Lynn Cassette and this is book one in the Out from Egypt series and I have not read this one yet. Next I have Shadow of the Storm and this is book two in the Out from Egypt series and I have not read it. But I love this cover. Next, I have A Light on the Hill by Connie Lincasette, and this is book one in the Cities of Refuge series, and I have not read it yet. Next, I have Shelter of the Most High, and this is book two in the series, and I have read this one. Next, I have Until the Mountains Fall, which is book three in the Cities of Refuge series, and I have not read it yet. Then I have Like Flames in the Night, which is book four in the series, and I have not read it yet. Then I have To Dwell Among Cedars by Connie Lynn Cassette, and this is book one in the Covenant House duology, and book two comes out very soon, and I will add that one to my shelf when it comes out. Next, I have Bathsheba, Reluctant Beauty by Angela Hunt, and this is a part of the Dangerous Beauty series but I don't remember which one it is. Next, I have Delilah, Treacherous Beauty, and this is also part of that series, and I don't remember which one it is either. I'm so sorry. Jenna, tell me so I can fix it. And I know I need Esther to finish off this series, but I don't have her yet. Next, I have Egypt's Sister by Angela Hunt, and this is book one in the Silent Years series. I have Judah's Wife, which is book two, and I have not read this one, and I haven't read Egypt's Sister. I don't remember if I said that or not. I haven't read these either. I think I forgot to say that. I haven't read these yet. <laughs> then I have Jerusalem's Queen, and I haven't read this one yet either. And then I have King's Shadow, which is book four in the Silent Years series, and I have read part of this. You can actually still see my bookmark. I need to get back into it. I did enjoy what I read. And the last book I have on this shelf for now is Daughter of Cana by Angela Hunt. And this is book one in her Jerusalem Road series. Book two has already come out and book three is about to come out, I believe. Um, so I'll have those on my shelf at some point. 
I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what is on my biblical fiction shelf part one. I do have a couple shelves with biblical fiction on it. Thank you, Jenna, for your influence. I'm sorry I have disappointed you with my lack of reading it, but I do love it, what I have read. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy biblical fiction, if you've read it, and if you have, who is one of your favorite authors. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian fiction and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye!